All right, what's going on, guys? Six shot here, and dude, stop sexualizing children. Indeed. Now let's move on to the important questions. What's wrong with being a pal exactly? I find this question absolutely hilarious for someone to ask because the answer is just so abundantly clear. You are trying to justify and harming children that's the answer if you are hurting an innocent person especially a child what you're doing is wrong by all means it is simply wrong if you are hurting someone more than you are benefiting them you are doing the wrong thing that is just so crystal clear so how you don't realize that or acknowledge it is just absolutely insane to me and what i just find absolutely laughable about all these people is that they go on twitter pretending to be open-minded asking people like hey can you please tell me why what i'm doing is wrong and why i'm harming kids i need to be taught you know what i mean i need to be educated but then when they actually get a cohesive response of people telling them why what they're doing is wrong this is their response to it the being a pedophile part and the sexualizing kids part well that actually doesn't answer my question yes pedophiles do not sexualize children children inevitably sexualize themselves because they don't understand the inflictions of sex behaviors at such a young age dog are you serious i don't even think this guy knows the full gravity of how sick he is in the head because in this tweet alone he full-on admits that he knows children are too young to understand or conceive sexual actions and have no no idea what they're being told to do but yet he's bragging about it and proud to know that he's doing it on twitter like it is just disgusting on so many different levels like it's just mind-boggling to me how this dude is so twisted in the head and everyone is telling him he's twisted in the head but when he gets that response of people telling him he's twisted in the head he just says oh that doesn't answer my question it's like you're not open-minded in any capacity getting help or being told that you're wrong you refuse to believe you are wrong you are just delusional on so many different levels where there is no helping you sadly and i hate to say that because i like to see people improve right i'm a fan of improvement i like to see humans evolve i like to see people get better at things they're struggling at i naturally like to see people get the best outcome they can for themselves right but for this person as much as it pains me to say i don't think this guy's gonna have a good outcome in his life eventually he's gonna end up harming a child because he doesn't want to change he doesn't want to admit he's in the wrong and he does not want help ultimately i like to believe that these people can get help if they're open-minded enough this person's mind is not open at all so with that being the case he just needs to be put behind bars man like this guy is just so sick that he doesn't even understand how many people he's letting down and harming dude because not only is he gonna directly a child and hurt it physically and mentally he's also gonna hurt his friends and families mentally that would have been there to help him if he was open to help but he's just too selfish to admit he has a problem you know what i mean a child wouldn't be harmed and this guy would be able to live his life to its fullest but instead since he's too selfish and arrogant to admit he has a problem he's gonna have to live it behind bars and be hated by everyone he once considered to be friends and loved ones isn't that just a depressing life dog but you're just too selfish to realize that that's the outcome of your existence and what I really just don't understand about this guy is just how oblivious he is to his own life's outcome. Because I'm reading one tweet of his right now, and I can tell you exactly how his life's going to end. He's going to be strangled to death in a prison bathroom. But yet he's living his own life, right? He lives every day as the man behind this tweet. He has all the pieces to the puzzle, but yet he cannot put it together. He doesn't know where his life is ending. Like, life overall is very unpredictable, but there are many aspects of which you have control over. And not raping kids is one of those things you have controls over, you know what I mean? You may have the thoughts, but you dictate your actions yet this guy just is not aware of that apparently but uh yeah i'm going to call it here dude if there's any party you left hasn't fallen in this sick twisted fantasy of yours please take yourself to therapy and start getting some help this is not how you want your life to end and this is not what you want your legacy to be so please get help before you hurt an innocent child but uh yeah that's about it and sick shot guys later